All right, time now <laughs> for the Musk Minute. All right, Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain computer startup, if you didn't know he had one, well, he does, is looking to bridge tech and healthcare. Uh, Musk says they're going to start human trials with patients next year, and uh, the project is pretty much what it looks like here on the screen. They're going to implant Bluetooth-connected technology into the brains of patients. Now, um, hear me uh, out, they're not ready for the wireless version yet, so you gotta use a USB-C connection to make this thing work. A custom machine will drill holes into your skull, then it will embed <laughs> tiny threads that'll connect to a <laughs> processor that'll eventually connect <laughs> to a smartphone over Bluetooth. They say they're trying to have FDA approval. Musk wants the first patient to be outfitted by the end of next year. The, the thing with Musk is he is so good at just having a new thing and saying, look over here. How exciting is this? But he's been, to his credit, he's been on Neuralink. We just haven't been paying attention to it because Robo he has taxis. too many other things to focus on. Mm. He's been working on Neuralink for years now, supposedly. You remember Hyperloop? Well, what is it, though? It's a, it's a thing you Chip. put in your head. And, right, uh, but I'm saying, like, it has, uh, like... Well, this is nothing. This, well, is like, well, this, is like, this is this is like a tenth grade science presentation. Many a sci-fi <laughs> book, which yes, they're at least movie. becoming less fictional, right. uh, has envisioned a time yep. when why learn things, why yep. gain knowledge organically? Because you'll be able to say, "Who is that actor?" And I, uh, I instantly know it because I Google it with my brain. And maybe that's within the realm of possibility. Have, Similarly, I once was interviewing Meredith Perry of UBeam, which went away. But remember, UBeam was going to do wireless yep, charging over the air. Yep. And her biggest thing she was most excited about was a day when they'll implant chips in our wrists that can yeah. dispense medicine instantly. No need to go to the hospital. You can just get it in an IV you, inside your body. You do remember that the main problem with Theranos is that literally the physics did not work. Right. Yeah. Right? And, and, and I mean, we don't, we don't even have a real durable method for diagnosing and treating um, mental health. Like, we don't really understand a lot yep. of how the brain Anything works. Anything in neurology. But yeah. somehow this There's is no going to, we're going to implant knowledge into Well, imagine brain. if the brain chip can give you some of that sweet, this sweet soma. This is real life. This is real life. Brave New World right. where they're all on Soma. Right, if Philip Dick is writing about this in a story, that's fine. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna take actual skulls. Well, things in I will say, people. you know, for all that we say about Tesla's problems, like Elon Musk quite literally is someone who, regardless of your opinion of him, like he takes things that were once thought to be sci-fi ideas and makes them, that's like his thing, right? I mean, we're doing, he wants to explore Mars. It's I also mean, a private company. It's not a publicly traded company. It's just like SpaceX. He's allowed to do whatever right. his Nothing endeavors will come of this are. for do another 10 that... years, but that doesn't mean it'll never happen. Yeah. I feel like I'm being labeled here as a huge hater because I don't want people to have their heads irresponsible. <laughs> oh, no, really. I'm with you. I'm not signing up for this. No, I'm not signing for up for this. For some reason, I'm a Luddite because I don't well, think that's Someone's going to sign up for it. Someone will say, Maybe okay. Jen. Maybe your, maybe your co-anchor. Well, I think that's one person too many, right. frankly. Like, this is... This is how I feel about self-driving cars. I ain't getting in one. And people say, oh, well, you're wrong. It's the future. It's coming. Well, I mean, that, see, the thing, that actually has some... That actually has a little bit of proven ability for cars to drive, not all of themselves, but to do, I mean, cruise control's been around for decades, sure. right? And you look at the sensors that are in regular cars, not even Teslas, like, you know, Chevys, it's kind of most of the way there. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is not that. Well, this is the, not that. the clip is running too long, but someday, Miles, the chip in your brain can just instantly give you everything that happened in this clip and you won't have to watch it. And now we'll move on.